All right, guys, something just got delivered, so I'm about to interrupt today's daily broadcast for something that's gonna make Frank super happy. Oh my God, it's here. <laughs> Since you're already hugging it, just come on and bring it on inside. How long have you been complaining about our current mattress? Forever. Right. Why do I always go backwards? <laughs> I'm not the right person to go backwards. I come all the way down here just so I can move the camera and make it look like, oh yeah, just miraculously moving the mattress up these stairs now. But this never happened. This is the part of filming nobody shows. Teamwork makes a dream work. That's right. So the reason why I made that comment about Frank being really excited because he has been wanting to get a new mattress for a while and Sienna offered to send us a mattress for free to try out and review and tell you guys about it. And then I told Frank about it. He's like, um, how long have I been complaining about our mattress right now? How long have we been wanting to get one? So it definitely couldn't have come at the better time. So if you guys would believe it or not, there is a king mattress in there. I'm always so amazed whenever we get mattresses sent to our door, which first of all, anything sent right to our door count me in but I cannot believe there's a king mattress in there that's super compressed so I guess the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and open the box get the mattress out put it on our bed and test it out and see how I like it so right off the bat we have to say a huge thank you to Sienna for sponsoring today's video and sending us a mattress to try out this couldn't have come at a better time honestly because Frank has always been complaining about how uncomfortable our current mattress is and I honestly have to agree with him especially after trying out the Sienna mattress for myself. I'm a strong believer that sleep is one of the most important things we can do for our bodies and our overall wellness, which in my case, I value my sleep so much because of I know the day I have to tackle ahead of me with how busy our days can be and just our overall hectic schedule. I'm gonna be honest, we were so impressed with the quality of the Sienna mattress and it was so easy just to take it out of the box, take the plastic off, Put it onto our bed and it immediately started to expand and like i mentioned before it could take one to two days to fully expand but i did a little research about their mattresses and i was very impressed that they have a 10 year warranty on their mattresses and they're also super affordable their mattress has five layers that help keep you cool which i know frank is gonna love because he also gets really hot at night so that is a plus and it supports proper spinal alignment which i know i'm definitely gonna need i might be done having kids but i still feel the effects of it and also relieve pressure points which frank and i both can benefit from so it's a win-win for both of us and i know it will help frank get better sleep as well he struggles with it and i know this mattress is definitely going to help both of us because Frank and I both value our beauty I rest. I think the mattress has fully, well, not fully, because actually it takes one to two days for it to fully expand, but it has expanded a ton. And right off the bat, I feel like this is like gonna be the perfect firmness for Frank and I. He likes his mattress to be super firm. I like them to be more on the softer side. I feel like this is a good medium, like it's soft, but firm at the same time. Does that make sense? Yeah. Babe, yeah. come test out the mattress. It's almost, well, it takes one to two days to expand, but for the most part, it's expanded. Go ahead and test it out. Oh my God, I can already tell it's so soft. Initial thoughts? Yeah. I think I'm gonna get the best sleep of my life. <laughs> okay, I was right. I feel like it's firm, but it's still soft at the same time. Is it cuddle material? Oh. Is this gonna be the perfect mattress to cuddle in? I think that it already is. <laughs> is this one better than our old one? Honestly, it feels so much better than our other one. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. So the best part, is if you don't like the mattress after 180 days so you get to sleep oh, wow. on it for 180 days which i already have a feeling we're gonna keep it because frank's already in love but my back feels so much better <laughs> you get to return it so that's awesome that they have that policy so obviously sleep is very important to us we have a very busy schedule hectic schedule go 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 all the time so that by the time we get in bed we pass out and then we would wake up in the morning and we were so tired and i felt like it has to be our mattress, it has to be. So we're gonna test it out tonight, or see how we sleep tonight, and we'll let you guys know in the morning. All right, you guys, so we just put the kids to bed, and I come in here, and what is this? I feel like I've melted into the mattress. This memory foam, because there's no springs in it, it's just memory foam. It's so comfortable. Like, look at you, like, yeah. this is honestly Brittany's side of the bed, and the rest of it is probably mine. Are you saying I've just gotten used to sleeping, <laughs> sleeping like in your this? little corner? No, this is how I sleep the whole night. Like this or like this. Or 
starfished. Or this is Frank. <laughs> Forgetting the. You're snoring. gonna be getting some good Z's tonight on this actress. Oh, are you are you telling me that you're gonna have to uh, wake me up from snoring so much? You look extremely comfortable. This is probably one of the most comfortable mattresses I've ever been on in my life. And you know what's crazy about it? Is that this is like, this mattress for being memory foam and everything is very, very affordable too. <laughs> we could have gotten this a long time ago. What? <laughs> Thank you, Sienna, for giving us a free mattress. All right, guys. So with that being said, if you guys want to try out Sienna mattress, I will be leaving a link down below in the description. Check it out. Get the mattress. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So as you guys can see from the title of this video, this is going to be a get it all done with me. Well, I should say for us, Frank and I, get it all done with us today. I know this is like such a weird way to start a video, but I am just wiping down Fletcher's jogging stroller because it is, first of all, so dirty from being outside on our front porch, pollen, dust, dirt, everything. And we're actually about to go on a walk with him before we get our day started. So I've already dropped off Aria, Nolan, and Harlow at school. We were actually almost late. I woke up 20 minutes before we were supposed to leave. They got dressed, they got all their stuff ready, packed their lunches out the door, and then came back and we got Scarlett ready for preschool, which is where Frank is at right now. He's taking her to preschool. And this is the time where we're like, okay, let's start getting everything that we need to get done today. And I figured I'll show you guys everything that I'm doing, like what a typical, I guess, day is like for us, even though I feel like our days always vary and they're always different. But regardless, it's gonna be a typical day for us. So my plans for today, I've got to get a video up on my main channel, which is actually already edited. I just have to set it live. So really not much to do there. But I have to also get some stuff done around the house that I've been meeting to get done. I know Frank has to fill some orders today and finish those, so I'll make sure to show you guys more of that and just trying to get as much done as we can while the kids are in school and also remembering to take time for ourselves, which is why we're gonna go on our walk. But it's about a two and a half mile walk with Fletcher. Make sure Luna gets her walk in as well. And I've been going on almost daily walks with my friend, but she is gone right now. So Frank is my replacement walking buddy. And if I can, I'm gonna try to get in a quick little arm workout today. I have to squeeze those in as well to take some time for myself and make sure I'm taking care of my mental health because working out helps so much for that. Look at how dirty these wipes are. But yeah, doing something at least one thing active every day just helps with me and my mental health so much there's a deadbeat in here but it's a fine line it's a balance because i also have to make sure that i am getting my work in as well so i know the lighting is not the best in this laundry room so i'm still waiting for frank to get back from dropping off scarlet at preschool so of course what i always do i start a load of laundry so i have to wash why am i so out of breath I'm so out of I have Fletcher's, Scarlett's, Harlow's, and Nolan's clothes from this week in here. I try to do their clothes twice a week just to stay on top of it. So usually midweek and then in the weekends or on the weekends, I'll catch up on their laundry. So where is the soft gnaw? And I actually need to grab Fletcher sheets really quick and wash them and throw them in here. Clothes are right here. Just go around to each room and grab any clothes. Is there any? Yes, there is. company called Little Road Co. You guys should go check them out because they have some really cute clothes. They actually sent us a whole bunch of clothes for the kids. Like I'm telling you, 
a whole bunch of clothes and their material is so soft it's like thick cotton i would love it so much so i was actually gonna wash it with their clothes but it's completely full so i'll just have to wash this in a little bit plus i still need to cut off the tags and everything but i think frank just got here so we're ready for our walk now that will be going by the time we get back i can put it in the dryer After our walk, I came home and made myself some breakfast. I had some Greek yogurt with some frozen berries, chia seeds, and granola. I am still kind of sort of fasting just a little bit. Um, I think we got home around 10 o'clock, which usually is the time I have my breakfast anyways. Um, so after that, then we kind of get started with all the work that we need to get done. So Frank had a few orders to do. He had to do some stocking tags and I believe also some school sign tags. If you guys did not know this, we run our own engraving and etching business called simplyetched.com. We have glassware, we have signs, we have stocking tags. I'm trying to think what else. We just came out with our school signs, name signs. We have a whole bunch of stuff. We're actually going to be coming out with some more Christmas tags, so stay tuned. If you guys want to check out our website, I'll leave that link down below. Um, but I am now just changing out the laundry, so taking on the clothes or taking out the clothes that I put on earlier, putting that in the dryer, and then I went ahead and cut the tags off of the other clothes that I need to wash and went ahead and put those in the wash. So usually before I can sit down and start getting started on my work and editing and whatever I need to do, I, for some reason, I can't do that until I get some house chores done first. So like you guys just saw, I put some laundry on and then I'll go ahead and unload the dishwasher and you guys can already see in the sink that there are dishes to go ahead and put into the dishwasher. <laughs> it's like a revolving door It honestly never stops. I don't even think there's been one time that our dishwasher has been completely empty. Just like our washer, we run it about every every single day. Um, but I am just putting all the stuff away and then I think after this, I went ahead and did the dishes. That way, I just, I don't know what it is, but I can just feel more at peace and more comfortable with getting my work done. Just knowing that all my household chores are done.
after finishing everything that I needed to get done in the house, then I will go ahead and sit at my computer and usually I'll go through any orders we have, print off the packing slips and labels if the order is done, go ahead and give that to Frank. That way he can go ahead and package up the order. And I'll also go ahead and check any emails I have, edit a video, do a voiceover, all of that good stuff. So that is what I do while he also works on any orders we have. All right guys, so I got done doing a majority of the housework that I wanted to get done. Frank got those orders, except for two packaged up. He's gonna get those finished after he picks up Scarlet from preschool, which is where he went now. I am gonna try to get a quick arm workout. I got my pre-workout here. As you guys just saw, I just turned on the vacuum because Luna is currently going through so much shedding even though we've taken her to the groomers. She's just starting to lose some of that coat, that undercoat, so there is fur all over the floor. So we got our little robot vacuum going to get all of that up, which that thing is my best friend. It helps me so much. Not only does it vacuum, but it also mops too. And I think the clothes just went off in the dryer, so I'm gonna have to fold that later. But first, try to get in a workout, because like I said earlier, this is like my me time that I get to decompress and it's just good for my mental health overall. So I gotta squeeze it in while I can. Oh, and Flesher just went down for a nap, so that's why I'm able to work out right now too. So by the time that I get done working out, I will go and pick up the kids, or it's time to go pick up the kids. We'll come home, I'll go ahead and unload all of their lunch boxes. I always like to see how much they ate as well. Um, I'll go ahead and wipe out all of their lunch boxes. I do this every single day with a disinfecting wipe just to keep things disinfected. <laughs> um, but I will go through their backpacks, any papers I need to sign, any papers I need to check, keeping track of their homework or any kind of notes from their teacher. And I'll go ahead and put their backpacks up and also their lunch boxes and just kind of go through everything and make sure I am staying on top of everything. that laundry that I had to do or that I did earlier I am now just getting to folding it so I put in the second load of laundry all the new clothes that we had I put that in the dryer took out the first load put it on my bed and went ahead and started folding it
recently have been begging me to dye their hair so I decided okay we're gonna finally do it we're gonna finally dye your hair so I dyed Arya's, Nolan's, Harlow, and Scarlett's hair. Nolan wanted a blue. I did Harlow a purple and Scarlett also did blue and then Arya did like this magenta color. If you guys watch our vlogs then you know how it turned out or if you follow me on Instagram then you know how, you know how their tur hair turned out. Um, but we used a temporary hair dye, semi-permanent, vegan, cruelty free. It's called Arctic Fox and it actually did a pretty good job if you guys want to check it out for your kids but in the meantime because it had to set for 30 minutes I went ahead and put up all the clothes that I folded literally just an hour ago I went ahead and put them up and put Aria no not Aria's Aria actually does her own laundry so I'll put it on for her she can sometimes put it in the dryer or I'll put it in the dryer but she'll take it out and she'll actually fold it and put it away but I put away Nolan, Harlow's, Scarlett, and Fletcher's clothes also realized that my plants needed a little tender love and care it's been a while since I watered them I say a little while but it's been a week so I went ahead and watered all the plants throughout the house Okay, so tonight is going to be a very easy, simple dinner. I just have some spinach tortellini going in here. Actually, I need to stir this up really quick. This is gonna be Frank and I's dinner because I know the kids will not eat the spinach. Once they see the spinach, it's gonna be game over. So I made them some rotini pasta and I'm using Trader Joe's vodka sauce. So I got that heating up in here and I just mix some in there for their dinner and I'll put a little bit of Parmesan cheese and we're also having some garlic bread as well. That is in the oven and I'm gonna be adding some spinach to my sauce so I got some baby spinach and then also some shaved Parmesan to go on top of the pasta so this is done this is already heated up I'm just waiting for this to cook the kids food is ready I just need to plate everything up but for the most part just a quick easy 
dinner tonight. It's been a long, crazy day. I was so tempted to order out, get like takeout or DoorDash and things tonight. But I was like, nope, we're gonna stick to not eating out as much and making meals at home. So I always try to find something quick and easy to make. So this is the perfect recipe if you are also looking for something quick and easy. So I've actually been in the process of decluttering in our house and one of the things that I've been needing to do is go through all of Fletcher's old clothes, which is what I did. So I've been just putting it in a bin. Actually, that was Nolan's old clothes that I'm saving for Fletcher, correction. Just wanted to say that, but I have been going through Fletcher's and the girls' clothes. But then after dinner, I cleaned everything up, got ready for nighttime, put the kids to bed, and that was pretty much it for this get it all done video because by then I was tired, I was exhausted, I was done, and I just wanted to relax. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up if you guys would like to see more videos like this please leave a comment down below thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like and comment and i will see you guys in our next video bye guys